Welcome back to Witness. We are doing 25 videos in the month of December. Woo! It's a holly jolly, wonderful, beautiful time. So if you haven't subscribed already, girl, mm -hmm, you know what to do. Plus, you don't want to miss out on all the giveaways because there is a lot of them. <laughs> Today's video has been so dang highly requested. My hair care routine is super simple, super easy. How I curl it, how I get volume. I'm going to give you the 411. Everything you need to know. Now before we get into the video, you already know what to do. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And never forget to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again. Now I realize this is not a fit tip. Okay, I realize that. But I figure there's no better time to do a hair care routine video than during Whitmas. Oh, this blanket you ask? I'll get to it. <laughs> Now this right here is a rare, rare sight of Whitney's clean hair. So with this extremely fine, thin, pin straight hair, I like to add waves and texture and volume. So I'm going to show you all the products that I use to achieve my everyday hair care routine, the hair that I do in every single video because I'm a plain Jane. I keep it nice and simple. I've also been getting a lot of questions about how my hair has gotten so long, so I'm just gonna let you know everything, okay? But first, let's begin with the basics. Shampoo. So to keep my hair nice and extra blonde, I've talked about this in my favorites video before. This is my current favorite purple shampoo. I've actually been using this, I want to say, since May. Haven't switched. I love it. This is the Finola No Yellow Shampoo. This guy is purple. Anytime I apply this, it stains my hands. Now, I mean, it comes off in like five minutes, but in the shower, I'm terrified because my hands are purple. So I'm only using this guy once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Just depends how I feel like my hair's looking. I did just use this guy in the shower, and as you can see, I feel like it's looking a little extra icy blonde today. So it just helps tone out any brass. An extra bonus, this is super dirt cheap, but please, 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 please be super careful with this because it is potent. Don't leave it on your hair for too long. I know that my icy blonde girls will will have some purple streaks in their hair. So if you are super icy blonde, maybe ask your hairstylist before applying this guy. Now, when I'm not using the purple shampoo, a hair care line that I love is Pureology. Now they have a ton of different lines in the Pureology range. This is the Hydrate Sheer. This line is silicone free and is made with 100% vegan ingredients. Now, a recent discovery of mine after trying the Hydrate Sheer, which I love, is this full Fill. This is for color treated hair in need of density and texture, which is me. With this guy, you can feel a little bit of grit being added to your hair, but yet it's still super soft and conditioned. It's hard to explain, but I highly recommend this for people like me who have pin straight hair in need of just a little bit of grit. I'm going to talk about this guy quickly because it's a recent purchase of mine. I haven't had much experience with it, maybe six uses. It is from Brio Geo. It is the Scalp Revival, and this has charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. Now, this is awesome for people who have extremely dry scalp like I do. I have psoriasis covering most of my scalp, so the flakes and the dandruff, it's a bit much. I can't say this is doing wonders for my scalp, but I will say that it's it's an awesome product if you are in need of something you can really press into your scalp and exfoliate. This product smells amazing. It's very minty, which when you put that all over your scalp, it's just, you're awake. It's super gritty, exactly like the name, micro exfoliating. It just has like the most tiniest exfoliation and I just really scrub that into my scalp when I'm in desperate need and my flakes be flaking. Now that was a lot of chatter, so I want to get into the actual us doing our hair. Now this is my one true love of a curling iron. This this girl has been with me all through college, all after college. It's been my ride or die. This is super old. It is from Numi. It is the one and one fourth curling iron. They've now snazzed this up with cute colors. Now the secret to the volume of my hair is pretty simple. Let me grab my wide tooth comb here. If I'm going to be wearing my hair on the side, which is my go-to, I don't really have a part. Let me tell you a cute story, okay? When I was a young child, I remember looking up, and I'm talking young, 
okay? Elementary school. I remember looking up at some just beautiful girl. I don't know who she was. I don't remember where I was, but I remember her face and I remember her hair. And she had the most beautiful swish to the left, swish to the right. And I said, one day, I'm gonna train my hair to just swish with lots of grueling, brutal training. My hair now swishes wherever it wants. So I technically don't have a part, I just kind of swish my hair to one side. I used to wear my hair in the middle a lot and I've kind of just stopped doing that because I like volume, you know? And when you have a middle part, you don't get a lot of volume. I just feel like a middle part doesn't really fit me anymore. It doesn't really fit my frame. Sometimes I'll do it, but not very often. I also get a lot of questions about how I don't wash my hair very often. And my best advice for you there is you gotta just start training your hair and start slow. So the first time you, you wash your hair after two days, wash it. The next time, three days, wash it. Four days, wash it. Your hair is gonna get so used to not being washed, it's gonna stop overproducing oils. So I'm going to be curling my hair all away from my face today. That's what I do. I don't do the mix and match because as soon as I swish my hair over, they're going to mix and match, which is gonna give you that whoosh, volume. I take just chunky-ish sections of my hair. I wanna make sure that I can get a full, complete curl, but not be like a regular. I'm holding the curling iron downwards, and all I'm doing is wrapping it around like so. Now I never, ever, ever, ever curl my ends. So I leave about this much out, a smidgen, an inch or so, and then I'll just pull the curling iron down, get the hair moving a little bit, keeping it away from the root. You don't want it too close to the root and you don't want to curl the ends as well. And then you pull it out. I don't hold it there for too long. And then, boom. And that's it for this hair care routine. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> it wasn't funny, okay. <laughs> now I'm just gonna leave it here and continue on with the rest of my hair. Now sometimes I'll split my hair, you know, top and bottom, curl this, curl this. That's usually just when my hair is super dirty and it's being a little bit more difficult. So once again, taking a medium-ish section, flipping the curling iron upside down and just wrapping it away from your face. I just kind of turn the curling iron, a smidgen, make sure everything's nice and hot, and then release it. Here she is, and I kind of just curl it backwards, make sure it's all going the right way. Now after finishing one side, all I'm doing is just letting it sit here, cooling down, don't touch it, okay? The magic's about to happen. For some reason, I have a little bit more hair on this side of my head, so I'm going to split it. Another tip that I thought of that I guess is probably important is when you're wrapping it around the barrel, it's important to make sure your hair stays flat. All right, so after we have curled all of the hairs, it's time for my two favorite products in the whole wide world. This is the Beach Club Texture Spray from IGK. Now this, ooh, girl, this is a miracle worker. I shake it up really, really, really well, and I am very careful to place this only on the shaft and the lower ends of my hair. I hope shaft's the right word, because that would be really awkward if it's not. I let my sister use this when she was visiting me and she decided to put it in her roots. Don't put this in your roots, okay? We want the grit and the texture all up in this grill. Not up here, all right here. This just takes these beautiful soft curls and it makes them a little edgier. It gives them a little toughness. I like to spray this underneath the hair so I just lift and give it a nice squirt. And I do this just about everywhere. I mean, don't go easy with this guy. Just really spray it up scrunch it, move it around, and then I start to shake out the curls. You can see this guy down here is hardly even curled anymore, which is what I like. It's just a soft, easy, has a little bit of wave to it. Now it's gonna have a little bit of texture. Oh, sorry, did I get it on you? <laughs> I'm so sorry, chicken. I'm gonna do this side away from the pot. All right, and now we have this, all from this. This is a miracle worker. If you are not using texturizing spray and you want like big luscious waves, you need this, okay? And then the final touch is dry shampoo. I always come back to Batiste. It's eight or nine dollars. It's not gonna break the bank for a beautiful dry shampoo. Now you're probably thinking, Winnie, why are you using dry shampoo when your hair is clean? Because 
I need some grit. I'm gonna lift my hair up, go to the side, and then one more time on the side. Crazy. It does leave a white cast, but you know, dry shampoo does that. As long as you uh, shake it out, it's gonna be okay. Here comes my final trick of the day. So we curled our hair in the middle so that I could swish it over this way. And because our hair was not used to being this way because we curled it the opposite way, when you flip it over your head, whether you have a part or you don't, it's just bada boom, bada bing. You can see these guys are on top are actually coming forward now and underneath is going the opposite way. So when they lay on top of each other instead of all meshing into one, they're not gonna mesh because they're not curling the same way. And then it looks like this. Now just a final few tips about my hair and how I've been able to grow it out. First being heat. Now I know a lot of people have to use heat on their hair. I totally get it. But try to keep it as a minimum. I only curl my hair after I take a shower. My hair is fresh. It's ready to be curled. And then I'll just let it be for the rest of the week unless I have an event like going to the movies. <laughs> I act like I go to events all the time. <laughs> I'm a homebody. And finally, a tip I know has made a huge difference in the breakage of my hair, and that is to stop putting so much strain on your hair. So you will hardly see me with a high ponytail, and there's two reasons for that. First of all, the back of my neck and my ears, all the way down here, is just covered in psoriasis. So when I'm in the gym, I go for my low bun that just kind of holds all the hair here, a, because I don't want to get my psoriasis flakes all over the gym, especially on the benches. And the second reason for my low bun is it just takes the strain off your hair. You put it right here and instead of being at a high pony where you're causing that breakage to happen, it's nice and low. Your hair's not being pulled back. I mean, it's a nice facelift. Mm-hmm, but it's not the best for your hair. Another tip I have is to get just clips like these. So anytime I'm at home and I want my hair out of my face, instead of pulling it up and putting it in a huge messy bun, I'll just clip it with clips like this. So there's no hair tie wrapping around it, there's no breakage happening. Alrighty guys, I know that was so much talking in such a long video, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it and learned something new today. Now if you have stuck around this long, I have some exciting news for you. It's time for another giveaway. One of my favorite brands in the entire world is Caraloha. Now Caraloha is an amazing brand that makes their products from bamboo. So this means they make the world's softest, most heavenly products. I have about a million and ten Caraloha blankets. They are the most soft, warm, beautiful blankets. So one lucky winner is going to win this Caraloha blanket, but that's not all. You will also win a set of Caraloha sheets. I have talked about these sheets a million and ten times. Nikki has talked about these sheets. She sleeps on Caraloha. I will only sleep on Caraloha. My Caraloha obsession has gone to the point where I bring my own set of sheets to hotels because sometimes hotels have very scratchy sheets and Caraloha has the most soft, luxurious, beautiful sheets. In fact, let me tell you something. You wanna get your parents something nice for Christmas? You wanna treat yourself? So a huge, ginormous thank you to Caraloha for this giveaway. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. One lucky winner is going to win the blanket and a set of sheets. That's a lot, that's a steal. Now this giveaway is only for US and Canada. The rules are as follows. Number one, thumbs up the video. Number two, subscribe. Number three, comment below how I can reach out to you, whether that is your Instagram handle, your email, whatever it may be, I need to find you and send you these goodies, okay? And lastly, you gotta follow your girl on Instagram. Pretty simple rules if you ask me. Well, that is going to complete today's Witness video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Boop. Navy and I love you so much, and we cannot wait to see you tomorrow for our next Witness video. Why do you hate me? I'm very nice to you. I give you whatever you want. Don't understand. Merry Witness, Merry Witness.